Hello guys, and welcome back to another tutorial series. So today what I'm going to be explaining is Blockbench. Uh, this series is actually going to be mostly focusing on um, a few things, mainly how to use the program um, in design and entity. Uh, however, it does look like there is support for Java block slash item models. So you might be able to use um, this particular uh, model program to create like custom models for blocks and items as well as a free alternative. I'll see if I can't figure that out um, sometime soon after the series. I might add on to the series at the end of it. Um, just kind of adding on to some different aspects of it. But for now, uh, we're just going to make a modded entity, which is this option right down here. It saves it as a .java uh, class file. Uh, so we're just going to click on that. Uh, we want to uh, make sure that we name uh, our model in um, letters only. Uh, probably best to use only lowercase in the English language. So only English characters uh, like E, F, stuff like that. Um, Kalman was saying that he was receiving a lot of um, reports of uh, errors with people not having proper name character spaces or, um, you know, just um, forgetting to actually fill out this information. Uh, this can be changed later. I'll explain how to do that. But for now, just make sure to call it something like uh, penguin or we'll, we'll be working on a penguin this se season. The mob um, geometry name is should probably be something very similar if not the same so I'm just going to call it penguin again I haven't had any issues using the same name for the file name so we're just going to set that texture width and texture height is perfectly fine the way it is so we just click uh, confirm and uh, now we are ready to actually work with um, modeling our penguin and everything like that uh, so basically what uh, Blockbench is is um, a modeling program for um, blocks and entities for Minecraft. Uh, there is many uses for it. Obviously, you can use it in MCreator as well as other applications. Maybe for changing the way, uh, for example. Um, I think there was some support for Java or Bedrock Edition as well, so you, you'll be able to change models in Bedrock uh, for certain entities and just some other different features that this program has built in. Uh, again, we're going to be focusing on the Java Edition for uh, Forge and specifically creating models for um, mcrater and setting it all up with custom animations and stuff like that. We're not actually going to be doing any animations in the program itself. We're just going to be using mcrater's built-in ones. Uh, other than that, um, it's a pretty simple program. I'll be covering a lot more um, in-depth areas like controls and how to rotate, pan, and stuff like that in uh, this series. Uh, I'm going to be covering texturing. Uh, actually, I can just pop up a document that lists all the um, things that we'll be covering. So today we're doing the introduction. I'll be, I pretty much covered that, um, but we'll be covering it again next episode just to kind of clear up any issues and get a little bit more in depth into that particular area. And um, basic uh, interface so we'll be learning where all the controls and settings and stuff like that how to configure it um, things how to navigate around the program basically uh, controls and modeling so we'll be learning how to actually use the pan tools um, zoom modeling tools and stuff like that as well as well as the key binds that will make your life a lot easier uh, grouping and elements, that's over on this tab over here. We'll be covering how all that works for specifically models uh, and mobs. So, And then finally texture and mapping, uh, that's over on that side over there. So, And then exporting and using it in Emperor. So that will be our final one that we work on unless uh, I do figure out 
and find some time to work on a um, actual block uh, addition to the program and then I'll be doing a tutorial later on after that but not anytime soon. Uh, outside of that, hopefully guys uh, found this introduction a little bit useful, um, gives you kind of idea what we're going to be working on um, as well on Tuesdays as well with your regular uh, content for M Creator and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and peace out.